Welcome to our devotion on the book of Philippians, starting at the beginning of chapter 3. Finally, my brothers, rejoice in the Lord. To write the same things to you is no trouble to me and is safe for you. Look out for the dogs, look out for the evildoers, look out for those who mutilate the flesh. For we are the circumcision who worship by the Spirit of God and glory in Christ Jesus and put no confidence in the flesh. Though I myself have reason for confidence in the flesh also, if anyone else thinks he has reason for confidence in the flesh, I have more. Circumcised on the eighth day of the people of Israel, of the tribe of Benjamin, a Hebrew of Hebrews, as to the law, a Pharisee, as to zeal, a persecutor of the church, as to righteousness under the law, blameless. But whatever I had, I count I counted as loss, for the sake of Christ. Indeed, I count everything as loss because of the surpassing worth of knowing Christ Jesus the Lord. For his sake I have suffered the loss of all things and count them as rubbish in order that I may gain Christ, to be found in him, not having a righteousness of my own that comes from the law, but that which comes through faith in Christ, the righteousness from God that depends on faith that I may know him and the power of his resurrection and may share his sufferings, becoming like him in his death, that by any means possible I may attain the resurrection from the dead. Uh, he starts off pretty aggressively, doesn't he, when he says, uh, rejoice in the Lord and uh, I've got no trouble writing these things then straight. Look out for the dogs and the mutilators of the flesh and these uh, evildoers. Um, sounds pretty aggressive. Um, but what at stake is so high and so important? Um, he talks about the, the problem of these mutilators of the flesh is that these people who want to take them back to Jewish uh, rituals and customs and, and not what they point towards, uh, the gospel of Jesus Christ. And so um, they want them to be to, to feel that they're justified, that they're, they're put right with God through their works and um, through markers on their bodies to do with their diet and circumcision and so on and uh and paul's saying look if it's about that then I, i'm way ahead of you uh i'm uh, he's I'm, I'm i'm a jew i'm a hebrew a hebrew of hebrews so i was a pharisee I, I did all the law I, I did all that and i think they're rubbish i count them all as loss if i don't get what they were pointing to all this time he considers it all loss and will ditch it all for christ and uh the most striking thing about this is he says uh, the what he wants is to be he wants to gain christ in verse nine be found in him not having a righteousness of, of my own no not by what i've done and by the law and and such like but that which comes through faith in christ a righteousness from god that depends on faith righteousness comes from god it depends on faith on taking him as he, at his word embraced in christ that's how we're put right. And so he uh, wants to know the power of him and his resurrection and share in his sufferings even. That is far better than all these other things. Faith in Christ, willing to suffer, uh, to know the power of the resurrection. Let's, uh, let's pray. Father, we are sorry for the times when we trust in our own righteousness, on our heritage, on our good works, so they seem, on doing the right religious things. Please help us to see these are nothing, only to hold on to Christ, that we're put right, we're made righteous by faith in him, in trusting in your promise. Please give us even a willingness to suffer, that we may know the power of the resurrection and to gain Christ and know him in our life. We ask this in his name. Amen.